Hey lovely people, this is Chef Amit Vashist and once again welcome to my channel. Today again we are doing a fabulous recipe, a brand new recipe of making this lovely prawns. I have this nice sweet shrimps, they are absolutely juicy, they are wonderful and we will create a new dish using this lovely lovely prawns. I will combine two cuisines, Indian and Italian, so you can name this recipe as Italian Masala Prawns also. Okay, so let's get started with this lovely prawn recipe. Everything will be ready in 20 minutes. See you after the break. Okay, so I have these lovely prawns here, about a dozen. First thing we will do is make a slit in these prawns like this. We'll just cut it open so that we have more surface area. And after that, we will grill it in the pan only. But it's important to get some color on the prawns. So the prawns are cut. First thing we'll do is get some color on the prawns. Pan on a high, little bit of olive oil, just a little. I'll place these prawns one by one in this pan. There you go. All the prawns are in the pan. We'll just let it cook, say, for about a minute. We'll get some color and we'll quickly turn them. And I'll just scrape these. These prawns will come out easily. There you go. Now I'll add some sea salt. I have this lovely sea salt. Sea salt goes on top. And I'll also add the sliced garlic. I'll add some olive oil again. Get some color on garlic also. Increase the flame. I'll quickly reduce the flame and I'll add some vinegar. If you have white wine vinegar, that's good. But I'm just using the plain vinegar. We'll just let the vinegar reduced. It'll get mellow, it'll get sweet. So it's time I put up the flame and I'll just remove these prawns and garlic, everything in this pan. I'll put on the flame. And this time I'll add some butter and some olive oil. There you go. And I'll quickly slice one onion. I'll quickly add the onion. I'll give it a stir. Reduce the flame now. And as onions are cooking, I'll quickly cut some peppers. I have this lovely green, red and yellow peppers. So the pepper goes in the pan. They look lovely, nice and colorful. And I'll also chop some celery. So the celery also goes in and I'll quickly start to stir everything. Give it a nice toss, just making sure all the vegetables are crunchy. So I'll give it a good saute. I'll add some capers to it and some olives. So the caper goes in, lots of caper and some olives. Olives will look lovely. Just keep sauteing and tossing. That's all, that's how we wanted it. We will still retain the crunch in the vegetables and these vegetables will also go in the same bowl. So now comes the third stage. We basically have to make a tomato stew. For that, I have the tomato puree and I also have some nice plum tomatoes. I'll chop two of these quickly. Pan comes back to the flame. A little bit of olive oil again. Keep the flame on a high and I'll just get my tomatoes all in the pan. There you go. I'll add some sea salt again. Just give it a toss. And we'll just let these tomatoes cook nice and slow. It's been a minute, these tomatoes are cooking. At this stage, I'll just add the tomato puree. If you have Italian tomato puree, that's great. I'm just using a regular tomato puree. Just combine these two. Salt is already there in the pan, so we'll not add more salt and we'll just remove the raw flavor of these tomatoes and I'll cook it for a minute or two again. I'll add some vegetable stock to these tomatoes. I have this lovely vegetable stock ready. Two, three ladles. There you go. This is looking gorgeous. And now as the tomatoes are cooking, I'll add some Indian masalas to it. I have this Kashmiri chili powder, a little bit of turmeric, very little, and some coriander powder, a tablespoon. I'll also add some chili flakes. And just to give it some more bite, I have this lovely cracked coriander. This will taste amazing in the tomatoes. We'll combine everything, just making sure that tomatoes are cooking gently. Now I'll add some basil. As I said in the beginning, we'll combine Indian and Italian flavors. So the basil goes in and once they'll combine with these Indian masalas, the stew will taste really nice. Now I'll add some sugar just to balance the acidity of tomatoes. And at this stage, I can bring back everything into this pan. These lovely vegetables, prawns, 
And once we've added all these things, we'll not cook it for too long. I'll give it a toss. There you see, everything is looking great here. The prawns, the vegetables, everything is nice. It's looking like a gorgeous stew. We'll not cook it any further, otherwise the prawns will get tough and rubbery. I'll put it off and I'll quickly prepare one beautiful garnish of these breadcrumbs with some sun-dried tomato. We call it polonaise. I'll chop some spring onion. Spring onion looks lovely. There you go. I have this young spring onion. Okay, so the prawns are waiting here. I'll put on the flame again. This time the small burner. I'll take a pan here, a non-stick pan, preferably. And we'll add some butter to it. And we'll also add some olive oil so that the butter doesn't burn. We'll let the butter melt. I'll also chop some sun-dried tomatoes, probably one or two. So the butter is melted. I'll add these crumbs and I'll just let these breadcrumbs slightly toasted. These are brown crumbs, so I can smell them already. I will not wait for too long. I'll combine it with the sun-dried tomatoes and I'll also add the spring onion. There you go. We'll just give it a mix and we have this lovely crunchy garnish prepared. We'll put off the pan and this garnish will simply go on top like this. There you see. It's looking lovely. It'll also give that added crunch to our dish. This is looking so good. And finally, we'll add some lemon juice on top. So we'll just cut one wedge. We'll just squeeze the lemon on top. There you go. And finally, a very nice drizzle of olive oil. It's like creating a vinaigrette on top. So there you go, people. We have this lovely Italian masala prawns ready in 20 minutes. So next time you feel like eating prawns, try this beautiful recipe. It'll be amazing. I promise you that. Make sure you like, share and subscribe our channel. I'll see you very soon. Take care.